hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well so today i am going to show you how you can make the realistic roof using the blender so without any further delay let's get started so here i first open my blender and here i will delete everything press a and delete and after that i will go to my top view and uh, i will add one circle and i will take the side of circle 12 then after that I will scale little bit like that then I will go to the edit mode and I will drag it out little bit from the original origin point then after that I will add the one modifier array modifier and I will uh, of the relative offset and I will increase the count 4 then after that I will add the one uh, empty arrow empty like that and I will go to the again array modifier and here I will change the uh, take the object offset and here I will choose the object empty like that then I will go to again the top view and I will select the empty and take the rotation tool and I will uh, rotate 90 degree like that exactly 90 degree and after that I will select the circle again and I will take far away from the like that yeah it's cool then after that I will add one more modifier it's called a screw so when I add the screw so I need to increase the screw value like that yeah yeah and i will again go to the edit mode and i will change the that value also is a 45 degree like that yeah it's looking cool then yeah it's looking cool then after that i will add the again one array modifier so right now I will change the relative offset to to constant offset and I will change the Z value like that so so that Z value exactly same whatever value is here 1.3 and 1.3 so it will exactly the top of the first one then after that here you can see here is a one breakage one seam is showing so i just click the merge option it will be gone then after that i will uh, hide everything hide everything for a while and i will add the one cylinder and uh, i will add I will go to the curve section and here is a note and I will go to the spiro fit so that curve is fit on that spiro that curve that uh, cylinder sorry so and if you know don't find this option so you will go to the edit preference and here you will find to the extra curve object so you have to just enable it you will find it then after that I will unhide everything and for a while I will hide the cylinder then I will go to the again that array modifier select the and here I will change the fit count to fit curve and here I will select the curve to spiral fit and now it's need to add one uh, modified call curve yeah so I will choose the object from curve like that and I will change the axis axis Z axis so that is fit on that curve very well so we can unhide the cylinder also 
so i will just scale down little bit and scale up like that yeah so our rope is ready yeah it's perfectly uh wrap with the cylinder so now i will go to the i will select the that curve i will go to the edit mode like that and i will take the one side of this and i will extrude it like that so i will Stored it on the downside. So yeah, you can make any kind of knot. So I'll just show you how you can make the knot. So after that, we will unwrap this. Uh, before unwrapping, we need to. apply that screw modifier so i will hide everything except the that rope and i will go to the edit and here i will select the edge and i will select the one seam like that one edge and i will click the right click and here is a mark seam so i will just seam and after that i will go to the uv editing section and i will select the all press 3 i will select the one quad and after that i will press the u and here is the follow active quads and just click it so it's unwrap very nicely like that so now we need to add the texture on it so i will go to the shading panel and here i will add the new and after that i will press the control shift t and i will locate my uh texture so here is a rope texture i will select the all and it's yeah so i will go to the uv editing section and here i will rotate my texture yeah this is pretty cool yeah it's it's looking cool so yeah it's looking cool and after that i will add the fur on it because we need to for also so what i will do i will go to the particle section and here i will add the fur and i will change the emitter to here so right now that that here is only come one section it's not coming on whole so i will go to the source and here i will change the use modifier stack also i will decrease the length and uh, this is face so i'm just going to do very quickly yeah guys so you can add the uh, that kind of for that kind of rope also so now i will add the texture on that also like that and i will go to the edit mode you wait reading and so uh, i will projection follow tip quads that's it So yeah guys 
you can make the rope like that and you can add the texture on it like that and also add the fur let's make the rope realistic so i'll just giving you the view how it's looking so uh, and if you need the texture so i will put on the description you can download the this texture thanks for this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next video bye bye stay home